Hi, this is Jason Lunger, and welcome to Dirty per Paper Review Predictions for Episode 3, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. For the first match, it's Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara versus Team Road Scholars. I'm going to pick uh, Team Road Scholars to win, to face uh, Team Hell No for the Tag Team Titles. And for the U.S. Championship, it's uh, Antonio Cesaro, the champion, going up against the challenger, R-Truth. As much as I like to see Antonio Cesaro have a longer reign, I think R-Truth's going to win because that'll probably end the feud and hopefully, you know, I won't see that feud ever again because Cesaro's not bad. He's a good, good heel, but R-Truth, ugh. Sometimes I get sick of his antics, I guess. And for the Intercontinental Championship, it's uh, champion Kofi Kingston going against the challenger Wade Barrett. So much like to see Kofi Kingston win the WWE title, I mean, Intercontinental title longer. I have to say Wade Barrett's going to finally win one after, you know, first time for his brand new gimmick, although he won the Intercontinental title before he was the member of the Nexus. And for the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the big show going against going up against Sheamus in a chairs match. I find neither one really interesting, but I want to see Sheamus win only because I'm sick and tired of seeing the big show with the World Heavyweight Championship. He should have just retired like years ago. And for the latter match for the World Heavyweight Championship Money in the Bank contract, it's John Cena going against the the current holder, Dolph Ziggler. For the ladder match. Like I said, not a big fan of Cena, and yes, I want to see Ziggler win that match, although he doesn't really deserve to be in that predicament. Oh, and John Cena already won like 12, 13 titles, so yeah, you're, you're done, man. Your legend, your legend is secured. <laughs> oh, and the last match? which is a table of ladders and chairs match, which you can win by pinfall or submission, which was originally going to be CM Punk versus Ryback for the TLC match, but due to CM Punk's ligaments in his knees, which he had surgery, he won't be defending his WWE title against Ryback. It'll be just a six-man tag. I'm going to go with uh, Team Hell No, DFS via DQ because um, I won't be surprised if CM Punk and Paul Heyman end up in this match because it cause chaos and it will lead up to the World War where CM Punk defenses WWE title against The Rock and I think The Rock might win I don't know I don't know but still it will lead up to the World Rumble bye